Hey YouTube, it's Kyle from Kyle Raps here, and today, as you can see right here and by the title, it's about UI switch. Um, specifically, turning a button on and off and changing the label whenever the uh, switch is in the on position or in the off position. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and open up Xcode and select create a new Xcode project. We're going to go ahead and do a single view application and we're going to call it UI switch. And again, we're going to be using the iPhone as the device and using storyboards for this tutorial. Select next and just save it to the desktop for easy access. So like always, I have um, the the uh, notepad here for you guys so you can follow along just so you don't get lost of what I'm doing. Put it there. Perfect. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll go into the .h file and go ahead and open up a bracket. Sorry, a uh, brace or whatever they're called. Um, we're going to go ahead and do an IB outlet and then UI switch and now we're just declaring the switch and its name so we're just going to call it switch and of course you have to write a semicolon at the it's end. It's five o'clock. And it's five o'clock. I don't know if you heard that. Next we need another IB outlet but this one's going to be a UI label and we're going to call this just label. And again, the semicolon. Okay, let's bring it in an error there. So next, we also need a. Actually, we're going to need two IB outlets. So let's just go ahead and write two of them. And both of them will be UI buttons. So write that as well. Let's just finish this one off first. Um, we're going to call this one just button1. Now, of course, the semicolon. Next, again, the I, UI button. And we're going to call this button2 and the semicolon. Next, we just need an IB action. So let's go ahead and enter that. And we're just going to call that switch I B action just so we don't have the exact same thing there so let me just go ahead and fix this for you guys if, for those who are following along and of course we need the semicolon that's it for the .h file. Now we can go ahead into the .m file and enter our IB action. So the IB action, and again, this was called switch IB action. Get just get rid of that part there, and open up two of those brackets there. Now, what this is going to be? It's going to be a scenario, basically. In here, you can say if the switch is on, which needs to be capitalized, um, if the switch is on, then it will do all this in the UI of the uh, device. So it's going to show this text in the label. Button 1 will not be hidden, and button 2 will be hidden. But in this scenario, this, this type of text will be shown this button will be hidden, this button won't be hidden. So let's go ahead and type that in. So just go ahead and write if, and then it's the first one there, and then condition, which will be switch decimal on. And then inside here is all of our statements. So again, it's just label, decimal text, and then this is going to equal, and then just as if we were writing in uh, 
for something, we would write the at sign and the two quotations. So inside here, we're just going to write the text that we want to show. So it is on button one. Okay, the switch is on. Button one is now shown. Okay, period. And of course, the semicolon at the end. Next, we're going to do button one, decimal hidden, and then this is going to equal no, and semicolon. Next, it's going to be button two, decimal hidden, equals yes, semicolon. So that's all for that scenario. Now we can go to the next one and write else. Just as I said before, it's the second scenario, what will be happening. So in here, it's just going to be label, decimal text, and then this will equal the at sign and the two quotations, and of course the semicolon. Now in here, it's just going to be the exact same thing as before, only button two. So the switch is on button sorry off 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 button two is now shown period and we already have that there so let's go ahead and write button one decimal hidden equals yes semicolon and now button two decimal hidden equals no just to show that button and that's all for that um, now we can go ahead and design our layout in our main storyboard so we no longer need that so I'll hide that and you full focus on the uh, UI layout here um, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna change the size into 3.5 just for the simulator um, it's a 3.5, I don't have it set to retina 4 inch. First thing we need to do is we need to find a switch. So that is right there. We'll just center that right. Let's find a nice spot for this. How about right at the bottom? Now, we need the two buttons. I will position those in the middle. So let's call this one button one, and we'll call this button button two. And now also we need our label, which is just one label, but we're going to extend it the entire screen. And just over the buttons, we'll change this to the middle so it's centered. And what we're going to do here is absolutely nothing. We can just keep that set to label. So that's it for the thing, so for the uh, layout. All you need to do now is go down just to the first icon here under the view if you're using main storyboard. If you're not using main storyboard, it will be somewhere in this side here. Just open up here, select view controller. Now for both of you who are using either XIB files or the main storyboard, just go ahead and select connections. And we're going to drag button 1 to button 1, button 2 to button 2, label to label, and switch to switch. Now, this is where we need to change the received actions. Normally, I would say choose touch up inside. But for this specific um, tutorial, we're not going to be selecting that. We're going to be selecting value changed. This is because the value changes of the switch, so on and off, and there's different scenarios. As I said before, second one and the first one. So again, just uh, connect that as value changed. I'll do that again if you missed it and don't want to rewind. All you need to do is drag it over to the switch, select value changed. Now that we're all connected up, we can go ahead and run this in the iPhone simulator and wait for it to load up.
Alright, I have been using this in the past with the Retina 4-inch, so let's just go ahead and change that back to the regular one. And I had it set to the 4-inch because my next app, Cairo, as I've mentioned before, um, it's going to be supported on the 4-inch display, which I'm very excited about. It's taking a little bit more work, but it should be out, mm, I want to say in 2013, but you never know, things happen. But now, now that's set to this, as you can see, we have our label, our two buttons, I have absolutely nothing, and our switch. Now notice both buttons are being shown. Well, we want if we want to change that, we can go ahead, well actually we need to change that. Since it's on the first scenario and it's set to on, and as you remember in here, if it's set to on, it is hiding uh, button 2. So let's go ahead and select button 2 and go to the uh, attributes and then just scroll down a little bit here until you see hidden so just go ahead and select that and it will now hide the button and if you don't like how it loads up and says label if you want you can actually delete that text if you want so now we'll run this in the simulator and it should be updated with the label and the button hidden but the label after you do this it says that so let's just go ahead and shrink this down since it's a little too big let's go to 14 and see what this looks like so again if it's off button 2 is now shown and again it is usable if it's on button 1 will be shown and it is usable so that's how you use a UI switch. This can be implemented in many, many, many ways uh, for your apps. And I really hope this helps for your guys' uh, apps or projects that you are working on in Xcode. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe up above and also like the video down below. You can share it um, to your Facebook friends, to your Twitter friends. If you have Google+, share it to Google+. It really helps us out a ton. Go ahead and check out our website. If you need any help, you can contact me down there in the forum. Thanks, guys, for watching. Peace. Hey, guys, it's Kyle. I just wanted to talk to you about uh, my website that just went live a couple days ago. You may have already heard about it from the past video I have, which I will have a link to that video right here. But before I do that, I just wanted to talk about that very briefly. I will be updating that website daily. So if I have a new video up, this it will be up there before it's even up on YouTube. And as well, I will be, I have a blog on there. So if you guys this it's a really good place if you want to keep in touch with me and I talk more direct to you guys and not more as well as like formal. Um, I also have the links to Cairo apps, um, apps, so iPoke Pro and Lite. You guys can go check that out. That'd be pretty good. You can share it um, to Twitter and Facebook. I have links to all my social networks on the website, just in the top right corner. So if you want to look at that, that'd be great. Um, next, I just wanted to say that um, if you guys could share us around, we are getting very popular, and it's pretty it's going pretty good so just share us to your friends any other apple developers you know get them to check us out if they need any help with their um, xcode tutorials thanks for listening guys have a great day